Hey everyone, this is Elmar from Phoenix Audio Technologies, and this will be part two of daisy chaining the Octopus to MT454. So, part one, we went over on how is it that the Octopus uses the XLR input to daisy chain additional units. I'm now going to share my screen so that you can see a preview of a daisy chain configuration. As you can see, there is a master unit, and we are using inputs one, two, and three to daisy chain additional Octopus units, and we are using input four to add a sound reinforcement microphone. However, in this video, I mainly wanted to go over the Octopus setup utility. I will now launch the application. Now, the application can be found in our website under phnxaudio.com. You can look under Support Downloads. So once you install and launch the application, you will get three options. You get the option for Standalone, Master, or Slave. I will click under Standalone for now. And I'm going to just skip here to the... Uh, microphone configuration. Just so you can see that on a standalone option we have an option for microphone, sound reinforcement, or auxiliary. However, since this is a daisy chain setup, I'm going to click back. I will change the type of the unit and I will be selecting master. So master will be the first unit in the chain. Once you select mastered, the second screen is where you can set up your local speakers. So, and basically master is the only unit where you can have local speakers connected to. So as far as local speakers, you have two options. You have the option to either purchase an octopus with a built-in PA, or you can use the Phoenix connector, which is a two terminal block green connector in the back of the octopus. I will now click next. And as you can see, you no longer have the option for microphone. You only have the option for to add a slave unit, sound reinforcement, or auxiliary. So for example, in the last preview that we had, we had an octopus configuration where we had three slave units and your last XLR input was a sound reinforcement microphone. And at this point, you can simply click next, next until basically you exit the application and make sure that the settings are saved. So I will now go back once again, just so I can show you the, uh, I can change the type of the octopus and I will now be selecting an slave option. So this is the setting, the, the setup that you will run on a slave unit. I will click next. And it takes just a few seconds to burn the settings into the unit. And as you can see, you no longer have the option for the speaker setup. It takes you straight into the microphone options. And now here you do get the option to add microphones. Or you also have the option, again, you can daisy chain a limited amount of units. And this is where you get the option to add more slave units. So if you're looking to add more units, as you can see, all the channels, once again, they're set to add more slave units. And in this case, you no longer have the option to add sound reinforcement microphones. You are strictly adding the slave units. But once again, if this is where you want your microphones to be, this is where you can select microphone. And as you can see, you have the option to select phantom power. You can either select 3 volts, 24 volts. And as you can see, the settings basically, and this is the reason why we basically recommend using the same microphones. And as you can see, we basically force the same settings into all the different channels. So for example, here I have selected 24 volts. I will now be selecting 3 volts. And as you can see, automatically, 3 volts is applied to the rest of the channels. And once again, at this point, you can click Next, Next, and you can exit the application. So I hope this video was able to explain on how the uh, a daisy chain octopus configuration works. But please, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach, reach out to us. You can always call at 818-937-4779, or you can submit a support ticket at support at phnxaudio.com. Thank you once again for watching.